Hey guys, welcome back. Summer is underway and I've planted some vegetables, but this year I planted two cucumbers instead of one and I need to build another trellis. The whole thing happens out of one 2 by 4 and then some string. First thing I need to do is cut about 6 feet off of the 2 by 4 Those are going to be the verticals and then what remains will be the top and bottom, the horizontal. You can do this with a handsaw or a miter saw, but since I have mobilized my table saw and I'm able to use it in different ways, I'm going to try this with a cross cut sled at the table saw. <sighs> nice thing about a cross cut sled is that you normally know exactly where that blade is going to go. I'm going to support the long side as I push it through. The short side will just be supported by the sled. Next thing to do is to rip them right down the middle again at the table saw. And now I need to rip them down to their final width of inch and a half. Now you can just butt joint together these uh, four pieces, screw them together. That's actually how I did the other trellis, but for this one I want to go a little bit fancier. I'm going to try half laps with a different cross cut jig, uh, cross cut sled at the table saw. I've got this block here as a uh, reference guide so that the saw, the first pass will cut an inch and a half away from the edge. The reason I don't have the fence an inch and a half away is because if the block was all the way rubbing against the fence, that'd be a chance for binding. So I'll start here and then I'll just bring it back and make a whole bunch of different passes hogging out the material. <sighs> Just cleaning up the half lap joints a little bit with a chisel. Next up is to mark the locations for some holes that I'm going to pass string through. String is going to make up the interior of the trellis. It's what the cucumbers are actually going to grow on. Um, for the verticals, I'm going to do four. So while I will mark the middle, I won't actually put a hole in the middle because when you do four, there's nothing in the middle. So then I will mark off of that. I'm doing the verticals uh, five inches apart. So from the middle, I will go two and a half to either side and then five off of there. For the side pieces, uh, I am doing a hole right in the middle, and then I'm going to go six off of there. Seventy and a half, 
means the middle's at 35 and a quarter. And I'm just going to make the move the ruler to make it easier to mark the half foot increments. I'm going to go ahead and mark all the pieces, then I will pull out the drill press and get to work with that 8 inch drill bit. to make sure that it's square. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to use screws or nails. I think I may just go with clamps while the glue dries and possibly put two screws in each corner after that. Uh, very important since this is going to be outside, I'm using Type Bond 2. I don't have any Type Bond 3, but since uh, this isn't going to sit on the ground, I think Type Bond 2 will be good enough. Oh, always got to move stuff around. I've got the long boards clamped to the work table so that they can't shift after I squared it all up. Now I just got to put these in place and clamp these joints together. Just making sure they don't move, but that is why the long boards are clamped to the work table. While the glue dries, I think I might work on cleaning out the holes a little bit so that string passes through them easier, but then also trying to figure out exactly how much string I'm going to need. I think it's been about five years since I made the first trellis, but uh, this part of it really brings back memories. I remember before I built that first one, I actually watched a long YouTube video. I think it was multiple hours long, like a documentary film, really, on caning a chair. And I actually picked up a really useful tip from caning a chair that gets applied here. To keep the string taut, they have uh, specialty pegs that they use, but I'm just using a drill bit. It's a little bit less than an eighth of an inch, and in there next to the string, it holds it nice and tight. Another tip, I'm using nylon string, so adding a little bit of flame to the end makes it just a little bit tougher, a little bit stronger. And then I'm using a sixteenth inch drill bit to push it right through. Um, I was going to wait until... I was done with the frame to do the string, but I realized it would not interfere with the last step. So give me just another minute and I'll be ready to finish this up with a, with a trim router. Got the string all in. The uh, final step is just to round over the inside and outside corners on both sides of the frame. So let me put my ear protection back in. Get to it. Okay. That is going to do it for this project. So you might be wondering how I am going to stand this in the ground, but I'm not. I have a deck off of my main floor and I am going to hang this underneath that deck outside of my basement. The cucumber plant is growing in a pot down there and there is already a hook under the deck, so just had to put an eye bolt in here. I would show you uh, hanging it, but it is almost midnight tonight. The best time for me to work in the shop is after my little girls go to bed. So, I hope you enjoyed this video.
Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Have a great week, and as always, get out there and make some sawdust.